promised over the weekend that we'd have another Land Rover from that company in Montreal that keeps me fed in work. I can't name them, as I said, I don't want my place burning down, but uh, it's just arrived in a tow truck. Looks pretty smart, eh? Well, looks can deceive. Honestly, I told them not to buy from that company, but I don't know that they made a commitment or a deposit they couldn't get returned. I don't really know, it's just come. And it came on the back of a tow truck. Land Rovers must be keeping tow trucks going in Quebec. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it came on a tow truck and the instructions were, it's not a starter. I mentioned that over the weekend, but I just saw it's got a battery on it and the charge lights on. Hmm. But uh, I thought we'd have a little look round it. Now I haven't spoken to the customer. They've just dropped it off, but um, it needs a little bit of looking at. So I've got the bonnet safely secured. Let's have a look at this beast. Well, hmm, what can we say? Oh, it's got a new plug in there, so that's good. Um, hmm, now Curtis and I have already had a bit of a look or a laugh at this. And uh, Curtis doesn't know anything about these, but we found out quite a few little faults. First of all, we don't know why this isn't fastened up. That's pretty obvious, but for the observant of you, you will see that this is a 200 TDI engine in here, not the usual 300 TDI. For the even more observant of you, you'll be able to see that this is a Discovery 200 TDI. What is the difference? Well, it's quite, it's quite obvious really. The intake on the Defender is down at the bottom and the exhaust is up at the top. Tch. So what's it matter Mike? Well it matters on a left hand drive because if you can see down there can you see the sit the uh, steering shaft has been rubbing on the exhaust you see that and uh, now that engine's gonna rock about when it's running that should have been an instant fail. Let's have another look at this system. Well, the air cleaner over there, it's tucked at the back, has got this funky hose on. Look at that, that's a masterpiece in plumbing, is that? Uh, it should go down here on this wing. And I think they couldn't get it in because look at this turbo pipe. Have you ever seen anything so bodgetastic in all your life? What's this pipe do? Wait a minute. <laughs> that's the boost pipe to, to operate the uh, wastegate. Well, that's not even fitted. Oh my goodness. Oh, but that, that turbo is down there. It's not, it might as well not be on. Look at it. And, oh, 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 oops. <laughs> Even if the turbo was working, it's not even fastened on, look! Oh my goodness! A little bit of oil in there. Look! They've just sort of nailed it together, look! They haven't even fastened any hose clips on! Hmm, I wonder if this has been serviced. Well, I'll tell you something, it's, it's had a good steam cleaning because I bet you it was bellowing oil out. Holy moly! Oh, look at this! This is nice! What on earth is that master cylinder off? Hmm, well, it's leaking properly. Um, what else can we see? Oh, top of the bulkhead's looking. Oh, bolt's missing, that's nice. Cover's missing. So that's going to be nice and drafty in winter. What can we see down here? Oh, I don't know if it quite, kind of can see, but the uh, footwell is all rotten at the top. In fact, it's all rotten all the way along here. Can you see? I think this is a bit of a giveaway. Firewall, uh, the bulkhead is not in tip top shape, is it? This is filler. It's a filler queen. <laughs> um, this is supposed to have been through inspection. And I don't think it's ever been anywhere near an inspection station. How can you tell? Well, it's got these funky side repeaters on here, yet there's no. Um, reflector on there, so that's a clue. 
In fact, there's no reflector on the back, but it's got the obligatory black checker plate on, which is new. That's new, and that's new, and that's new, so that's good. And it's had these funky wheel arches. I'm just sidetracking for a minute, because I've not even seen these before. These are not, look, these are solid. They're absolutely double skinned, but you can, I don't know if you can see just under there, they haven't even bothered to put the uh, proper fixings on. Well, I'm not surprised because they don't line up, but they've just put them on with self-tapping screws. If we have a look in here, you can see there is sort of a double layer. I don't know what that is. That's not fastened down. Footwell, a brilliantry uh, rust in the footwell. That's good. What else can we see under the well here? Oh, shop tower, cracked. That's a fail. Steering uh, ball joint, no split pin. Now, funny enough, this in Quebec, if it went through inspection, should fail. It's supposed to be two threads outside. Now it's a bit controversial because we know it's okay, but for inspection, we must have an ex excess of two threads. Uh, oh, what else can we see? Bottom of the door pillar, filler. Oh dear me, where am I going to start on this? Um, what's it like at this side? Hmm. The wiring is a mess, look. It's got a heater on, it's got a later heater. It's like a 300 TDI type heater. The thing is, I haven't even heard it running yet. Ooh, look at that for a bottom hose. Look at that, can you see that one? That's not the correct bottom. Oh, look at this for a fan. Wow, this must be interesting, this must be a feature. Uh, they've either cut or destroyed. The cowling, uh, it probably destroyed because it's not even fastened on here. Um, yeah, it's had a good steam cleaning. There's not a speck of oil on it. There's a few specks of oil starting. I, I'm not sure what engine's in this, and this was the funniest thing when Curtis and I were looking at that, because these engine mountings have just been welded on. Well, not just, but they've been welded on. Can you see? They've had mountings here which could be a V8 had to say it's not right though There's bloody wires everywhere look. now well, the funniest thing was when I was chatting to Curtis I'll tell you now um, we were discussing whether this was a V8 originally and I said oh it doesn't, doesn't matter Curtis I'll have a look at the VIN number so we came across and had a look in the window, there's no VIN number in there, like it should be, and there's no VIN, win, uh, there's no VIN number in there, I thought there was, it said Protec on there, so I thought I'll have a look at the top of the brake tower because it's always there, no, it hasn't even got a serial number on the car, so how could it get? A vignette de conformité. That's the sticker they put in the window to say it's been safety inspected. Uh, now, at my inspection station here in Sherbrooke, the reservoir with cracks in like this will fail. It's a potential failure. Uh, not good. But they don't care. These, these guys don't care. What on earth is this lot for? I wonder we don't get AIDS off this car or something. Um, look at this wiring, what the heck is this? This is real Shonksville, isn't it? There's a starter. Has it got the solenoid wire on? Yep, yep the solenoid wire's on. I'll have to charge the battery up and find out what's wrong with it. Oh dear, dear. Well, looks like I'll have to put my deposit down for a new Ferrari. Because this is going to take some money to fix this. The seals on the door are somewhat worn, I think. I don't know. Somebody would have to write back and tell me about that. They're, they might be worn. I don't know. Let's have a look at the door. Ooh, no door cards. Ooh, no door. <laughs> um... 
Hmm. This looks like it's been lived in, doesn't it? Um, for some strange reason they've cut big holes here and the same at the other side. I was chatting to Curtis and then I thought, I bet you they've tried to put speakers in there. Uh, but there's no door cards. In fact, there's no interior. Uh, there's no roof lining, no trims. There's one or two trims. There's a trim for that panel and there's a trim for this front piece. But that's it. Now it looks like it's had another screen in it at some time. Because the rubber's new. Can you see the rubber's new? Hmm. Uh, this is for the heater control. Obviously the heaters in Quebec have to blow for the um, for the demist. Uh, it's showing 186,000 kilometers. Hmm. I bet it felt every single one. Uh, mm, it's been recarpeted and it's covered over the footwells. There's just a patch in. Oh, look at that. Sorry about that. I keep interrupting because I'm finding new stuff. This is what shonky. We'll cover that up. We can see down here. Look at the uh, corrosion in here. The door shut. <laughs> uh, again, rotten doors. Been repaired, no check straps, uh, rotten, filler, rotten. Look at this though, what a feature. This is worth buying this car for. It's got uh, central locking. Amazing. Oh, it's got central locking at that side too. Um, I've noticed, just noticed something else whilst I was here and it might not come up too well in this video. Um, we'll look at this seat belt, top seat belt mounting. That's just a piece of plate that's welded on. In fact, it should be, have a full bracket that attaches down to the bottom and up to the top. If there's an accident and a forward facing belt, that has been stick welded up and that is gonna to fall to bits in next to no time. Okay for Africa, not good for here. Well, I'll say okay for Africa, but they don't care. Now there's some sort of um, gray area because I got pulled up once, well not pulled up, but I stopped at the inspection because the door pull wasn't working correctly on the outs on the inside. But these have got no door handles on at all. And what happened with mine was I had to wind the window down to get the door open. No big deal, I hadn't got the parts to fix it. Anyway, the, the inspector said, oh no, it's a fail because he got to open it from the inside. So I just simply bent this bit and got it working. Oof. I just wanted a ticket for it, but I, I got it to, I actually got it properly done later when I got the parts. Anyway, looking at the back, we've got the obligatory, uh, is this, these made in India? Oh, made in Japan, Brid Bridgestone. These look like pre-First World War, don't they? Yes. Ironically, the, uh, the bottom of the door isn't rotten yet. I say, yeah. You know, it always had another skin on, look. It's, uh, it's been sort of bent over a little bit, so that's an excuse for that one. Uh, obligatory crack here, no rear wiper, that's missing. Uh, yeah, no rear wiper at all. It's got a screen heater in, which is nice. Oh, there's a bit, see, there's a bit of trim. Oh, and they've got a COVID mask, so that's uh, that's good, it's up to date. Um, hmm. I noticed here that the uh, latches for the uh, rear 6040 seat are missing. It's supposed to look like that. I bet that one doesn't work either. Um, some bits of shrapnel in here. No seat belts. Something looks like out of a medical case there. Uh, yeah. Car See, they've done the right thing to put carpets on to make it look uh, nice, but if they want it, oh, there's no rubber. <laughs> I just noticed there's no door seal on here. <laughs> I mean, it's going to cost a fortune to put right. I don't know what they're going to do with it. I don't know really what they're going to do with it. Uh, the roof looks really good. It's surprising, isn't it? The roof's really good. The back panels are good. Um, in fact, I should go around and look at all the good bits. <laughs> now, you're going to say, what's the chassis like? Well, just down there, there's starting to be the bits of a hole. But you know something? I'm going to try and get this running, because when it came on the towing truck, I noticed that the chassis wasn't bad at all. 
it really wasn't bad but I don't know what it's like underneath um, again <laughs> this is a this is a fail you can't have mirrors like that oh look at that antenna that is Grupo Sportivo I want one yeah yeah there's no no corrosion on the skins but that's made up on the inside by corrosion of the frame um, yeah there's more time and effort in repairing that than there is actually uh, things to salvage in my opinion maybe that one's not too bad let's have a look at this one mm. Mm. once it goes around here there, there's, there's a lot of work oh it's been repaired look it's had a bit of a patch yet run there so one of my um, one of my things is I don't patch patches uh, seatbelt covers missing on the other side the seatbelt uh, is held together with the tie wrap which is a fail interesting eh? the sun visors also should be actually fitted to the car for inspection that's mandatory here in Quebec the mirror should be fastened to its mounting and not in the packet on a the floor there's bits and pieces of trim I don't know the seats almost look funky coming from uh, I think this must have come from Africa I don't know where the hell it's come from it's had a hard life though hasn't it handbrake looks like it's uh, it could do with some adjusting yeah so I'll tell you what we'll do Let's um, let's try and get it started. That could be a fun video. Oh, it's had a brand new bumper fitted to it too. Well, that's worth it. Oh, and a brand new grill. These are our aftermarket ones because the aftermarket ones don't look too bad. This is from Turkey, but because uh, it's shiny, and it looks like it's had new panels on here too and new lights. Yeah, it's they've they've put a few cosmetics into it, but they haven't bothered anything about safety or anything else really but this was an absolute joke honestly that was live i didn't uh, i didn't stage this i never stage anything on customers vehicles it's just as they come so i'll tell you what i'm gonna have a cup of tea i'm gonna have a cup of tea and then we'll get into this and find out why it won't start i'm going to take the battery off put it on my charger make sure the battery's charged up I don't know what I want to do with it. I keep, I know I keep saying, talking to myself, but it's a money pit, man. Don't look. Again, take somebody with you. Look, look at the, look at the signs here. The signs of the times. This master cylinder is leaking. See how the paint's come off the cylinder, and see how it's come off the uh, booster. That's leaking. So you see so many things. You go walk th round things time and time again. Yeah. yeah it is a 200 TDI because it's got the air intake at this side, a 300 TDI air intakes at the other side. Right let's let this ramble and let's get the battery on and let's get the kettle on. Mm. 